Well, coming up at Soka University, they're going to be having their 14th annual International Festival coming up uh, May 2nd. And we have a couple folks here who are going to be involved with that. Uh, one, you certainly know, Valerie Geller. Nice to have you here. Good morning. And uh, introduced uh, your friend here, Lisa Liu, all right? Well, she's part of the Saddleback College Emeritus Institute Symphony. That's right. Actually, Lisa, I'm not sure. What's your exact title? Uh, as, <laughs> as community uh, yeah, I, I'm director. a young community relations uh, since uh, SOCA was opened. Um, That's right. In 2001, uh, and I'm the manager of community right. relations. I think we met during the 2009 International Festival. That was the first year oh, that wow. the Emeritus so you actually with participated. Soka. Yes. Okay. Yes. I thought you were with the also with the symphony. No, I joined oh, the Soka okay. University in 1990. Oh, okay. I, before mm -hmm. Soka was opened, I watched wow. the university being built from ground. And this is a very special university, isn't it? Yes, it's a private four mm -hmm. years of liberal arts university. Mm -hmm. It was opened in May 2001. That's why we celebrate uh, the opening of the university uh, and the diversified culture in the community with the international festival. It has become a tradition at our campus. Yeah, and, so, and Soka was kind of on uh, the forefront of that, uh, weren't they having things like this? A very special university and uh, this international festival, I'm looking at all the things that are going on here. I mean, it's something for everyone here. You have musicians, dancers, art, international food, which sounds fantastic, uh, kids' adventure land and art workshops. And uh, you folks are involved, the symphony's involved, right? Since 2009. <clears throat> yeah. And now that the Performing Arts Center has been built, um, we have this beautiful venue to perform in and to present our artists. This year we have a wonderful violinist who'll be playing the first movement of the Brahms Violin Concerto in that wonderful hall on a beautiful violin, and so it's, we're very excited. But we, we're the first act of the day, so to speak, in the Performing Arts Center, 10.30 a.m. Okay. So, and it's free. The, the entire festival is free. I yeah, think it's amazing. Just, it's just ten dollars for parking, but for an entire day's entertainment. But get there bright and early so you yeah. can get a good seat to hear us. What is the the history of Soka? Who started it? Uh, Soka University was founded by lay Buddhist uh, peacemaking international organization called the Value Creation Society. SGI Soka mm -hmm. Gakkai International in Japanese characters. It's a value creation society. And so our mission mm -hmm. is to foster stream of global citizens contributing to world peace and a beautiful environment. And we try to set up an example uh, to give our, our students an uh, impression and uh, imagination of what beautiful environment it is. So that's why we build a beautiful campus. And they offer, uh, w within liberal arts and all, they offer a full curriculum. Yes, uh, we offer all-rounded curriculum. Very good. Yes. Is there one you mentioned uh, who started this, is there like a, a sister one in Japan or somewhere else, or is this the only one? Uh, we, we are not related, uh, not affiliated. Uh, okay. With, uh, <clears throat> there is a university in Japan, it's a large university, and there are many schools uh, in other nations. So this and was kind of patterned after? Uh, pretty much so, and with all one mission. Mm. Yeah, a nice mission. Yeah, nice and, mission. And a festival like this just fosters this to the public at large, right? Yes, uh, our, uh, the, the festival is to um, share our diversified culture uh, with the surrounding community. Mm -hmm. We've been doing this for 14 years uh, consecutively. This is our 14th and, uh, annual international festival. And I want to mention their website is, uh, it's on their, their poster, but it's soca.edu forward slash festival. And uh, you can go on the website here and it's going to have all the information about the festival here, the entertainment schedule for this year. Yes. And maps and directions, which uh, are always uh, helpful, you know, where to park, things like that. So uh, there's a, it's so much to be offered here and uh, just a lot of fun. What I like here is it gives the rundown of different schedule in the performing areas and uh, all kinds of exactly. stuff. Exactly, uh, we had the entertainment that goes on for the whole day from 10.30 a.m. Yeah. to 5 p.m. 
and uh, Valerie Gallagher's uh, uh, orchestra's music starts at 10.30 a.m. in our beautiful Performing Arts Center. And in addition to the Performing Arts Center, they have a wide variety of stages set up all over the campus. Um, the gymnasium has a large stage set up. So the whole campus is being used. The entire campus yes. is wow. utilized. It's a real coming and the, together. And oh. entertainment uh, for, the, for the whole day is on three stages. Oh, great. Uh, from the gym and the fountain, Peace Fountain area facing the beautiful lake and the Performing Arts Center. Mm -hmm. And I want to mention, you know, people, this has been around uh, for all these years, they may not know, it's right over here in Elisa Viejos, because it's kind of tucked away. Exactly. You, can't, you don't just drive and, and there it is. It's, uh, it's kind of tucked away. I think it was put sort of in a little bit of a it, valley or something, It is right? uh, from here, from Laguna Woods, only about uh, four miles. Yeah, it's not that uh, far at all. Off Wood Canyon Road from Pacific Park. Okay. You can miss it. It's uh, on the top of the hill of Aliso Viejo, overlooking 4,000 acres all around. Oh, uh, nice. State Wilderness Park. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And again, this is happening Saturday, May 5th, and as you heard... No, uh, Saturday, May 2nd. Oh, May 2nd, excuse mm -hmm. me, May 2nd. And there's no charge, you pay for like $10 for parking. Uh, that's yeah, that's gonna free be for it. admission, $10 of parking. We uh, encourage people to carpool over here. Very good. Uh, yes, uh, and uh, we mentioned about the kids' um, uh, adventure line. Yeah. Wow, uh, there is a huge uh, inflatable ride and also jumpy. Mm, oh, great. Uh, bungee jumps. Uh, well, I have uh, to bring my daughter there. I it, think it she'd is like a that. And there are also student uh, exhibit, uh, exhibitions. Well, uh, I, I'm uh, interested in the food. That's going to uh, be good. Uh, yeah, food, food, food is a, um, there's a variety of international food. Uh, and also ice cream flows. Oh, uh, great. Mm -hmm. and, uh, arts and crafts. And, and arts again, and crafts you go on at 10.30, did you say? 10.30 a.m. in the, at the Performing Arts, Arts Center. Yes. Yeah, for ping pong okay. fans. Uh, your Laguna Woods has a ping pong club yeah, I see huge. right here in this building. And uh, we welcome your ping pong fans to come over here. We have a butterfly, nice ping pong table. Uh, <laughs> on the wind by, by, okay. by, by the gym for them to come over here to uh, uh, play and to demonstrate their skills. So there's uh, something, it's a, it's a free. something for everyone. Again, the so, website is soka.edu forward slash festival. This is happening May 2nd. And I yes. want to thank you both for coming on. Thank you. Any thank questions, you call, us, uh, call me Elisa Lu or Wendy Harder. Okay. And 949-480-4081. 949-480-4083. Okay, we thank you very much. We'll Welcome. see you again soon. Definitely thank very you. soon. Thank All you. All right, you take care. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank we'll you. We'll be right back. Thank you. Very good. Mm. When's your